Okay, so this is a quick little demo of a custom build of Beta Flight 3.2 um, for an upcoming race we've got in Adelaide, um, which has um, a specific set of frequencies tuned to or mapped to um, certain colours. Um, and this will show off a couple of um, some nice new features in, in Beta Flight. All right, so the first one is if you've got your um, your um, Tramp or Smart Audio telemetry hooked into Beta Flight um, directly and wired up to a Lua script on your Tyrannus we can change the frequency, save the page, and then watch the color change. So um, so for this particular race coming up, um, red is 57.40, green is 57.80, um, blue is 58.20, and we'll just bump that up to there and white is 58.60. So we've got a blue now. Save that. Wait for it to go through, and there we go. And then finally, oh, it's a bit blurry. That was just too late at night for me. Oh. So we have 58.60 and that should change to white when I save it. So this is um, working off um, Betaflight um, RC3, 3.2 RC3 um, with a little bit of mods to the um, to the code to, um, to hard code it against those particular frequencies and colors. All right, so that's working. And if we go back down to 57.40 again, and just to get it back down to channel one on race band. And we can see that that's should change to red. And there we go. All right, so that's um that's kind of easy. Um, you just basically change your frequency on your radio and then your LED colors get updated automatically. So the second approach is if you don't have telemetry hooked into your VTX is to um, use a funky new feature in um, Betaflight, which is this um, auxiliary, well, a, um, a color modifier against a particular channel. So I've got mine hooked up to um, channel 6, which maps to auxiliary 2. Um, I noticed that the, um, the configurator was a little bit flaky, so I'm just going to just cheat a little bit and pop into the CLI and copy my LED configuration, trying to do it with holding a phone and changing it with one hand, which is a wee bit tricky. Let's bump into here again. Change all that. So that's basically just remapped. Ooh. It's making some horrible noises at me, but that's all right. So that's just remapped my, um, my LED configuration to say that um, I want to use the auxiliary port and if we go over here now, let's just go back out of our um, escape out of here and then just go to our channels. And we can see channel, you can see I'm moving here. When I go past that quarter mark on the channel, it'll go from red to green. And then past the halfway mark, we'll go to blue and then pass the three quarter mark to white. So that's just a manual way of configuring it to the particular channels we've got in this race coming up. So yeah, that's it.